So today was a pretty interesting day. Yeah, my shirt says Deja Vu on it. <laughs> Whenever I get ready, I let the animals out to run around because I don't really like leaving them in the cages all the time. And when I, it's kind of hard to get ready because my rabbit follows me everywhere like a lost puppy dog. And there goes Charmander, and that's Spieling. I have weird names for my pets. And then I got ready for church. I normally don't dress up. I don't feel like it sometimes. And I let my dog out to go to the bathroom. But after a while I realized that my brother already let him out. So all he did was eat grass. And that's my church. It's 150 years old this year. It's filled with a bunch of old people and young people, so I'm kind of out of the loop. That's my grandma and my pap. And then they did a flag dedication. It was pretty interesting. And they had a lunch afterwards. And that's my uncle, my aunt, and my dad, and my crazy stepmom. And then my dad made me take him home to get changed, because we are going to go to the farm. And we played with the cat. Her name is Spitfire. And then I changed into a nerd shirt, because I'm a nerd. And this is the farm. And this is what we call the bomb van, because it's full of fertilizer. And they can use fertilizer to make bombs. This is the racetrack <coughs> for the horses. And lots of fields. And some trees. After a while, I realized I probably shouldn't have been riding in the back because it was pretty bumpy. Okay, really bumpy. And then I realized, oh, I was back there with a bunch of sharp objects. That was smart. So then... I got attacked by barbed wire. And, oh yeah, we're going to fix a fence that was knocked down by a tree. And the cows could have gotten out, so... That's the tree that fell on the fence. It was pretty bad. So my dad started cutting it up so he could remove it. Like magic. And then my step grandfather came to help, even though he has two broken ribs. The farmer never stops working. Oh, it's like magic, it's done. So then we drove back to the barn. Those are the cows. And by the way, cows don't really go moo. They make more of a murr sound. I don't know, I always have to complain about that. Because I've never heard a cow actually go moo. I know, I'm weird. And that is the barn cat. We call her Mummy Kitty. She's actually the mother of my dad and stepmom's cat that you saw earlier. And then I left a note for my stepdad because I really want a goat. And then I realized that one of the horses were inside. Turns out the owner doesn't want it to be outside, which is pretty bad. So we gave her some fresh water and she played in it. <laughs> it was quite entertaining. Her name... It, we call her Dee Dee. I can't remember exactly what her name is, but it has dragon in it, which is pretty cool. And then I took my dog for a walk, but I lost all the footage somehow because I think I didn't format the card. So the only thing I had left was this really shaky video, but I wanted to keep it because it was a groundhog. <laughs> or also known as a woodchuck, which I was just talking to my friends about the other day because they didn't know what a woodchuck was. 
And then we went back to the farm so we could have a bonfire. My dog really loves the cows. He's like his mommy. And then I realized my dad wasn't there yet, so I just kind of chilled by myself for a little while before they came. And I watched my dog chase bugs. <laughs> and that's actually a camper. It's pretty big. And then they came, and I saw a deer. That little brown speck out in the field is a deer. I didn't really have my long lens with me, so I can't really see it. And then I caught lightning bugs whenever it got dark. And then we had a fire. And that was pretty much my day. It was kind of a relaxing day. We didn't really do much. It was a pretty good day. <laughs>